Williams, I'm playing Helen in Harper Sixpence at the Noel Cow Theatre, and I am having tea with Will Murray. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm here today with Emma Williams, who Hi. is starring in Half a Sixpence at the Noel Coward Theatre. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I'm really good. We've, uh, we've almost met several times, <laughs> yes. um, so it's nice to meet you properly in and be person. able to sit down with you. <laughs> um, now, reading up on you before this today, it's, um, it's quite incredible, um, things people may not know, things that are on the wonderful thing called Wikipedia. Oh heavens. Um, but Correct me if any of these are wrong. Okay. Um, five A-levels. Yes. Um, an Open University BA Honours Degree in English Literature. Yes. You speak French, German and Spanish. A little bit of Spanish. I'd say I'm rusty these days. Okay. <laughs> but the others are true. Um, a member of Mensa, the Society for People with a High IQ. I was, yeah. I haven't paid my fees recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, actor, songwriter, musician and writer, currently writing a novel. Right, my second. Second novel. Not that the first has done anything yet, but no. maybe at some point I might publish. Who knows? <laughs> All of that. And then at 18, you made your West End debut as Trudy Scrumptious in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah. Uh, with Michael Ball. <laughs> yeah. And then your list of credits is ridiculously amazing. Um, Love Story, which is one of my favourite shows, oh. um, which was brilliant, and I think we should have it back. I think, so too. I think so too. I think so too. Joanna in Sweeney Todd with Bryn Turfle. Mm -hmm. um, Annie Get You Gone. Yeah. And Mrs. Henderson Presents, um, which I'm going to New York on Saturday and I'm going to go to Toronto for a few days to see their press night. Oh, wow. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Please give them my love. I will. I will. Do you know Evelyn Hoskins? I don't. She's I don't. We play Maureen. Yeah. But I, uh, um, I'm sending her all my love and. and uh, and all my bravery, shall we say, for doing it. It's going to be brilliant, yeah. I'm sure. Um, four Olivia Award nominations. Congratulations Thank on the you. latest one. <laughs> yeah. All of this, and you're younger than me. <laughs> like, you make me feel bad. Oh, I'm You've sorry. done so much. What have been some of your highlights? Oh, gosh, highlights. Love Story, as you mentioned, I think is one of the most incredible roles I will probably ever get to play. Um, it's one of those really meaty acting roles, and she's such a strong woman, is Jenny, that she's a joy to play. When everyone else is falling apart, she has to retain this kind of centeredness, which is is amazing. Um, I'm very, I don't know, there's so many kind of bits and pieces that I've done. I mean, I started in film. I started mm. working with people like Steve Coogan and Omar Sharif, which is ridiculous, and probably most people these days will go, Omar who? Was that terrifying. when you were still at school? Yeah, I was 17, I was doing my A-levels. Um, so I was the last year of proper A-levels, you know, the old school kind of do yeah. two years, then an exam. Um, proper. Uh, <laughs> and I just didn't go back to school for the second year until the Christmas. I spent the entirety of that first term filming in Manchester and trying to study at the same time. So we were working 16-hour days. And then I go back to my hotel room and eat pate on crackers because I didn't like the room service menu. <laughs> um, <laughs> drink Diet Coke while studying French and German and business studies. And I mean, five A-levels, did you do them all in the one go? Yeah, I failed every single one of my mocks as well. Oh. Every single one of them, um, apart from general studies, which I got an A in. Um, <laughs> they asked, is theatre art? I can talk about that for a long time. Um, um, but yeah, I sat them all the following year, and I was I was actually quite ill before I took them. I was I was uh, off school for I think two months before I took them, so I was very very ill. Um, so I'm very grateful it actually happened. Um, yeah. <laughs> well done, you. Um, obviously, got a lot more dedication to the calls than I have. My mum is a teacher. Uh, <laughs> that so. says everything. Not so. <laughs> so you're here um, starring in Stars and Drew's Half to Six Months. Yeah. Um, what's the show about? It's about Arthur Kipps. Um, it's based on Kipps, A Story of a Simple Soul by H.G. Wells, which is a story of a, a guy from a poor background who works as a draper's assistant and suddenly one day, beyond his wildest dreams, comes into an awful lot of money. And it's about how money changes not only his perception of the world and what he can do with his life, but also how other people perceive him and how they treat him. And it's his his story of his life and him being torn between two women, the, the gorgeous Anne, who's very down to earth and natural, the, the woman he fell in love with as a kid, um, who still cares for him madly, and the new love of his life, this upper yeah. class Helen, um, who isn't maybe as rich as everyone might assume, 
but is of a different society kind of background. So it's, it's him being torn between these two potential women. And is it a difficult job to um, have to have Charlie Stemp fall in love with you eight times a week? It's probably a more difficult job for him to fall in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. Um, so from next week, yeah. um, or from the 20th of March, um, the schedule is changing with Heart for Six Phones, which I think is really interesting. So you're going to be doing um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday matinees yeah. um, with no evening performance on a Wednesday. Mm. So you'll get your Wednesday night off and your whole Sunday. Mm. So that's quite a new thing. I know um, the girls are about to introduce Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday matinees yeah. and no show on a Monday. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple of other people have done it in the past, but yeah. it's quite a new concept. What do I you think, think it is. I'm, I'm really excited by it. I'm really excited by it because I, I'm... And I, mean, I love theatre, I think it's amazing. But for those people who've got, say, families or children, it is quite difficult when you've only got one day off a week. And that, if you do Sunday shows, tends to be a Monday, which is incredibly difficult if you've got kids at school. So you don't really see them. Um, and I think it's also very exciting to give audiences more options mm. than just what the old schedules used to be, which is Monday to Saturday and a Wednesday and a Saturday matinee. Yep. It's nice, that, I mean, we are really a, a, a show that, that thrives on our matinee audiences and our weekend audiences. Um, you know, it's a family show, it's, it's for those people, and, and tourists coming into London on coach trips means it's a day trip. For me, it's great, because the first Wednesday we do this, my parents are coming down from Yorkshire to see the show, and then I get to go and have dinner with them yeah. afterwards, before I get a train home, which is amazing, because normally it's like, hi, bye, I've got to go put my makeup on and, you yeah. know, have a quick bite to eat and get ready again. So, that it's kind of like a, a sort of sense of normality to it, slightly. Yeah. Um, it's really exciting, it's good, it's, it's great that... I think producers are becoming aware of each show having its own schedule for it and how and how it needs to adapt to fit that schedule. I find it really interesting. I mean, it's great for me because it means that I can go to more more shows because, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's only seven days in a week. And so to be yeah. able to go... And I love nothing more than a matinee. I love a matinee. It's like you can Something go slightly, slightly naughty about getting to go to a matinee, yeah. I think, in some ways. Yeah. Is that really strange? And then, especially if you go to another show after, you yeah. feel like you're Double show day. Winning. Absolutely. Winning. I'm already lining shows up for um, for our Wednesday evenings, which is brilliant. So it means mm. we can go and see things. I don't think I've ever been on a job where I've had that as an opportunity before. No. Because um, if you don't live in London, which I don't, you don't generally come into the city on your day off when you work there six days a week. So... Um, you know, it's great. We're really looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I have a little gift for you. Oh, bless you. What are you like? It's nothing special, don't it's worry. It's very kind. It's a West End Walmart hashtag stage <laughs> tote bag. <laughs> and oh, my goodness. A hashtag stagey t shirt. <laughs> Um, I'm so wearing that to warm up tonight. <laughs> anyone wants to get theirs, you can get them now from westernwalmart.com. Mm plug there. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Um, so finally, why should people come and see Half Six Months? It's a story for everybody about an everyman. It has something for everyone. It's got the most beautiful original music from the Henneker and Cross version with phenomenal new music by Stars and Drew and a brilliant new book by Julian Fellows and glorious choreography by Andrew White. It's basically the most perfect, wonderful, joyous musical you'll come across, and it has a brand new star in Charlie Stemp. I think he's going to take the Olivier home. Do you? Yeah. <gasps> My money's on him. Um, thank you so much. Thank it's been you. lovely to meet you. You do. Thank you very much. Um, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment for me or Emma. Mm. Thanks very much. Mm.